What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and in this video I want to talk about technical documentation or doc for short, right? Documentation, when you want to learn a specific tech, you go about a certain company for example, a lot of people go to the number one source of information, the documentation of a given technology. You want to learn about Node.js? You go to the doc of Node.js. You want to learn about Go? You go to the doc of Go. You want to learn about WebSockets? Well, you have MDN, Mozilla Developer Network, but that's the idea. You go to the core owner of the place that serves this technology. You want to learn about Caddy? You go to Caddy's web server. And that works absolutely great. However, there are some limitation of the documentations that I'm going to talk about a little bit in this uh, video and why it's not always a good idea to learn from the doc and you have to kind of find various sources of information when learning a specific tech, right? And uh, that's the topic of this video. So you're interested? Stay tuned. And you, you might have read this a lot, right? This documentation is really bad this documentation is really flawed the documentation of this particular software is really bad or oh, the documentation of this software is really good what does that really mean right what how do you define good and bad right as a software engineer when you want to learn a tech and especially if you're new you go to that documentation the documentation might give you very basic shallow information and 99% of the time the documentation is biased to the software they're not going to talk shit about their technology at all caddy right they're not going to say oh by the way you can use this technology but eh, our technology is not really good when it comes to this kind of use cases right they're not going to say that they're going to say the technology is always uh, rosy and great. And that's what why I hesitate reading the documentation. You rarely find documentation or that, uh, that kind of explicitly tell you the use cases. That's why you really need to read between the line, right? So if you're going to the doc to learn how a technology works, documentation is literally the worst place you go to because the documentation will say like socket io go to the socket io you want to learn about socket io they are as vague as possible they don't tell you anything about how the tech works they they market it, it says oh this is great this is how application uh, yeah this hides the com complexity of web sockets it's 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 being used by this company is being used by this company that it's essentially a marketing that that's that's what uh, socket io is right but if you want to learn about it you go to either source code right or you go to sometimes i like to go to wikipedia because that's the most unbiased place for things right because People will write it in a way that is completely unbiased. It's like, hey, this is a talk. I, go, I went to there and then immediately web, web, oh, socket IO is a wrapper around web sockets and that fall back to polling. Just like that, I know what the technology is. So yeah, the documentation, if you want to learn about it, the documentation is really not a great place. Again, that's my just my opinion and you might disagree and I would love to know your opinion and why that just let me know in the comment section below however if you really want to implement the de technology he says okay you're absolutely certain socket io or react is great and i want to start using it documentation is the best places for this because the, some and here's where the documentation can go bad or good right really depends on all right but the documentation here will give you a quick start guide, a getting started guide, and it will walk you by hand, step by step, to actually show you something that is working. And that's awesome, right? The documentation is really good for that use cases. And it will tell you what exactly you can do. And uh, you can, if you, if you want to know about a certain topic or about a certain terminology, the documentation usually have the answer and here's where some documentation like uh, uh like nginx 
I do not like Nginx documentation because they throw in these metrics and variables in their software, but you go to their main doc and they don't talk about it at all. It's just take timeouts, for example. There are so many timeouts in Nginx, but there's no in-depth description of what each timeout mean. It will just say, oh, this is a timeout for sending information, the sending packets. What does that mean, sending packets? Is it, is it really at the server side? Is it at the front end? HA proxy, and I'm not a bias to their, towards their HA proxy or anything, but I like their documentation because they, first of all, they detail in their documentation every single variable and what it really does, all right? And if it doesn't really work, if because sometimes you cannot fit everything in the, into the documentation, and I know about this, right? Because I, I I built software in my nine to five job, right? And you cannot fit really everything into the documentation. So here's where blogs really really matter. So HA Proxy have a separate blog. They go into details of best practices and things that. Uh, things that can, you can use HA proxy for. And yeah, obviously they market their software, they make it rosy, nobody's gonna badmouth their technology at all. So that's, you have to take with a grain of salt. That's where you come into uh, videos like this YouTube channel. I completely am biased, right? If I'm gonna pick up a technology, I'm gonna use it myself and I'm gonna tell you, oh, this part sucks, oh, this part is great. I'm not gonna pay for any of these companies to, to do to do these reviews, right? So I am going to give you completely wise. Another example is uh, uh, Traversy Media and, and, and others as well, right? They pick up technology and they say, well, I like this technology, but I don't like uh, this part of it. They're gonna tell you that, right? They're gonna clearly tell you that. So yes, documentation is amazing and it's great, but it really depends where are you trying to do? Why are you going to the dock from? Are you trying to implement the tech or are you trying to understand the tech? If you wanna understand the tech, don't just rely on the documentation because they're gonna be biased and they're gonna tell you everything as rosy, right? If you wanna implement it, definitely it's the best place, right? Unless the documentation is bad, right? Where they just don't tell you information. If you wanna go deep into the tech also, the documentation is a great place because they, here's where they can explain certain vocabularies and, and variables of the technology in deep detail. Again, if the, if the documentation is great, right? So, but meanwhile, if you want to kind of always understand more about a technology, just don't rely on the documentation itself. Read blogs watch YouTube videos like this one. Thank you so much. Also, one more thing, you can follow the people who build the tech, and I do. I follow people who build Nginx. I follow people who build Curl. I follow, follow people who build in, uh, HA Proxy, and I ask them questions all the time. Some people reply. I'm very grateful if they do. Some people don't, but they tell me exactly how the technology works, and, and, and most of the technology I talk about here is open source. I don't talk about closed source tech, but and they, they have nothing to hide. If it's an open source, it's, yeah, HA proxy can do this. Oh no, HA proxy does not support quick at the back end. They're gonna tell you clearly. But in the documentation, they're not gonna say, oh, HA proxy does not support quick on the back end, for example. Very rarely the documentation actually say that. Every technology will always gonna try make itself rosy and perfect and I don't like that personally, but that's how marketing works. And that's how you need to market things. You have to say the good thing about your technology, right? You cannot say the bad thing about your technology or the limitation, right? That's why you need other sources of uh, information to explain things for you. Yeah, so in the end, to summarize, guys, watch out for these things, right? There are a lot of documentation that's just going to shove your face with the features that the product do, right? And some features, if, if the product can do all of these features, I have always a question mark, right? Because like, how the heck can you do all that stuff? And uh, 
is this thing really tested? I raised my eyebrows, right? Because I was like, really? All I've I've been in this web page and all of that's all you do been doing is just bragging how your technology always shines and you support this and this and this and this and I keep scrolling and I was like, oh, wow, that's a lot of features in one single piece of software. How many how many people are on your team and, and do you have any bugs? And why when I go to your issues, there's only five issues, right? Mm, really really a software this big have only five bugs right and I, I, th three of them are enhancements that's that's a big question mark to me right it's because like okay yeah you have a great marketing team maybe you have a great documentation but something is up right if you kind of paint this colorful picture about your product something is definitely fishy because <laughs> Yeah, every product go to nginx go to ha proxy right look at the bugs that comes in go to node.js just go to the open source and click on issues and see the flood of bugs that goes in that's a real product if you don't see bugs that means either this technology is perfect which is impossible and or this technology is nobody's using it and they're trying to color things beautiful so be careful of documentation, guys, right? Yes, rely on it to implement it, but don't get too attached, right? Sometimes uh, these marketing people can play magic tricks on you. So it's like, oh, they can enchant you. Yeah, just watch out for that. And uh, hopefully that, oh, that was a little bit of a rambling video about documentation, but I just wanted to get my ideas out. I promise I'm going to make another video, maybe a little more, a little bit more refined and cleaner. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Call me out if I said anything that doesn't make sense. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Like this video, like it, dislike it. If you didn't like it, I'm going to see you on the next one. You guys stay awesome.